I'm a long time fan. It's been a while yeah. that I've been listening to your records. And uh, I always wonder one thing. Well, first, let's talk about your artwork. Because I yeah. always say, you know, I used to tell people, like, you know, when I die, yeah. I want my funeral program to look like your album covers. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, talk about that. And also, I, I just feel like you don't get the respect that you deserve as a revolutionary in the industry. I feel like people overlook the South. Well, you know, my artwork came from, uh, so I had a retail store in Richmond, California, first at 19. I didn't know that. Yeah, so I'm selling uh, Tupac, I'm selling NWA, I'm selling Ice Cube, but all those albums, the Ghetto Boys was dark, it was black. Mm -hmm. Right. So I got on the phone with Penny Pencil, said, you know, I'm getting in the music business, I wanna make an album cover. But can you make it bling like my watch? They send me a picture of your watch. You know me, I'm on a hustle. So I sent them a picture. They said, damn, what is this? <laughs> you know? <laughs> so it's all iced out. My watch all iced out. And I was like, yeah, can you make my logo where it say no limit in the tank in diamonds? Just like my watch. Yeah, I said, yeah, I could do it. <laughs> you know, not really knowing he can't do it. But he was like pushed himself and said, nah, man, put the diamonds in there. Even before somebody brought my record, they, they the kids from the hood walking the stove, man, give me that one with that bling on it. Right, mm -hmm. right. So that's where the whole, we created the whole thing of the bling, just walking in a record store, seeing all these gold and diamonds on the, on the album cover. Mm -hmm. And just being in the game from that perspective, it took us to another level because right. it's not just about the product, but you having something that visually somebody could see and then take it and, and then have some good music into it. And we didn't have to spend as much money, I mean, that a lot of these major companies were spending. I couldn't afford the big old uh, billboards, so I brought bus benches, okay. mm. you know? So sometimes you gotta think outside the box. 